Oh, hey guys, what's up? You are not gonna believe where we are. So we're gonna go ahead and tell you. We are on the Talamina Scenic Parkway putting out our food and water caches because soon we are going to hit the trail and start our through hike. Yeah, we're gonna do the Washa Talk in one. Washa Talk <laughs> Trail in one go. Yes. I don't know if you've seen any of our earlier videos, but we did hike this trail over a two year period in five different sections. And we loved it so much, we decided to come back and do it all at once. So it's, uh, I think it's the 8th of November. Yes. And it's uh, Wednesday. And we're putting out, like Vicki said, excuse me, Oluk said, uh, food and water. For the first section, we're going to do 120 miles. Uh, it takes us from Talamina State Park to uh, a little town called Story, where we're going to leave our car. We're going to catch a ride back over here to the start. And... Uh, probably take about 10 or 11 days to do the first section and then we're going to get off the trail um, run into town put the rest of our food and water out for the next 100 103 miles and then go back and do it so we're anticipating maybe about three weeks total yeah, it's gonna be a grand time oh my gosh yeah the weather's gorgeous it's gonna rain all day tomorrow <laughs> so chances are we're gonna uh, wimp out and stay in the motel another night and uh, eat food at the Bluebell Cafe. Yum. Shout out to Lori at the mm -hmm. Bluebell Cafe. She's also our shuttle driver yep. and savior in the past. And uh, then we'll probably hit the trail Friday morning bright and early. And uh, we're just really looking forward to it. They needed some rain up here really, really bad. They've had a few showers lately, but this rain tomorrow all day is going to really help us with uh, water supply. Even though we're cashing water, we'd rather filter it if we could. Uh, so we're just being real safe. Uh, we're way too much food. We're going to eat every bit of it going to take you guys with us so uh, tag along yeah we came at just the perfect time because the leaves are turning and the scenery is beautiful so hopefully you'll get to see some of that gorgeous fall foliage with us yep cheerio Good morning, folks. We're finally here. After taking a day before we started to let it rain, it is, uh, I think it's Friday the 10th of November, and we are about to start a through hike of the Washita Trail. Hey there. So, we're not even a quarter of a mile down the trail, I don't think. We've already walked past a stream with a little waterfall. We've been down this section of the trail twice before. Never saw water running there. There's water all over the trail, which is a big concern, or was a big concern for us, uh, for water supply. And it looks like, at least for the next few days, it's not gonna be an issue at all. We might even be able to leave some of our water caches and just go back and pick them up later. The trail's a little rocky and rooty and it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets any better. But temperature this morning's about 55. It's beautiful and clear. And we're looking forward to a great day. Come with us. Hey folks. Howdy. It's lunchtime. Actually, we just had lunch. We're about five miles down the trail. It's, uh, I think we got here about 10 minutes to one. So we're gonna chill out, have a shoes off lunch break, had our traditional um, tortillas and peanut butter and trail mix lunch. Not super hungry, but gotta have something to eat. Met a cool hiker from Kansas. Yep. Guy with the longest beard I ever saw. Must've been three feet long. <laughs> yeah. Um, had a visit with him. We're at a spot where we've been several times before. It's uh, kind of a, Fire ring campsite. They got some rocks set up around here where you can lean on them for chairs and pretty nice place to camp if you wanted to. But we got another four and a bit miles to go. In about three miles and a bit, we're going to cross uh, the Talamina 
scenic parkway where we left some water at what they call Dead Man's Gap, uh, which is only about a mile and a half then from up to the shelter that we're going to stay at. So we're going to fill up our water there, uh, camel up a little bit, which the hiker means drink all the water you got there <laughs> while, you're, <laughs> yeah. while you're making water. And then we're going to head up to uh, our shelter. It's been a good day so far. Absolutely. Uh, new shoes worked out for Vicky. Yes. And uh, new trekking poles. And what else? Anything else new? Mm, we went ahead and put our hunter orange on because uh, tomorrow <laughs> morning is opening morning. So. Uh, well, it's our first real hike with our fanny packs. Yeah. And I'm yeah. really enjoying it. We got our light AF fanny packs that we bought in Damascus at Trail Days this spring. And just to see how it's going to be to have that extra little space for things like snacks, cameras, um, potty gear, all that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, I think everything's going real well. The weather's gorgeous and beautiful. It's like probably just right. about 55 or 60 and sunshine and breeze and all the rain. The guy that we took, met, he was coming back. He was going back where we came from. He was at Wholesome Valley Shelter uh, when all the rain hit and he just hunkered down, stayed there all day yesterday and watched it rain. So we're just real lucky. It's going almost too good to be true. So yeah. we'll just have to wait and see. But we'll catch up with you. I'm not shooting a lot of video and and, uh, and images on the trail because I'm just trying to make it through the first day, get my legs under me. And but we're going to take a lot more pictures and uh, we're going to take you guys with us. So see you soon. Happy trails. Good morning, campers. Good morning. We had a great night's sleep besides the coyotes and the owls waking us up at Rock Garden Shelter. And we got an early start this morning, and we have a little trial and tribulation in the Rock Garden, but this makes it worth it. Look at this beautiful tree. Hey, folks. Yeah, we finally decided to take a break. Like Vicki said, we had a great uh, start this morning. One of them, we got to the shelter last night. I know we didn't do any wrap-up footage for the day, but we got to the shelter in pretty good, pretty good shape. 9.2 or 3 miles. Got there about a quarter to 5. There was already somebody in the shelter. Somebody had hiked in uh, earlier and uh, was staying there. And then when we stopped to get our water cache about a mile and a half before we got to the shelter, some folks caught up with us that were also going to be staying there. Actually, it turned out to be six guys from Tulsa just having a, a long weekend get together and hiking out a couple of shelters and back. So they set up tents and uh, we had a good evening. Of course it gets dark so early, but we hit the sack about 7.30 and uh, didn't sleep a whole lot, maybe some, but had a lot of coyotes howling and owls hooting. And, but it was a good night and like Vicki said, we got away about 7.30. We've come a little over two miles now and in a couple of hours, pretty bad. You'll see some of the pictures, pretty bad. Uh, rock gardens hadn't hit a real rock glacier yet but it's real slow going about a mile an hour when you're going through those heavy rocks anyway we're taking a break uh, having some water having a snack we've only got to go five more miles to get to the shelter we don't know if we're going to keep going and uh maybe uh, there's supposed to be a campsite a couple miles past the shelter but we'll just wait and see talk to you down the trail hey guys Howdy. Day number two is in the books. Yes, it is. Thank goodness. We are at Holson Valley. Valley Shelter. It's a little over 16 miles, 16.8 miles or something like that from where we started. 
Um, well, what a day. It was only 7.2 miles, but my goodness. The rocks. Oh, my goodness. The rock gardens, yeah. the yeah. rock glaciers. Just rocks. Because we're in Rock, Oklahoma, right? And we know that. <laughs> so what was your favorite part of the day? My favorite part of the day? Yeah. Getting to the shelter. <laughs> Mine, mine was lunch. It was my favorite part of the day. No, we saw some cool stuff, but this was just uh, this first 25 miles. So we got another nine tomorrow. The first 25 miles of this trail is a booger. It rock, what they call rock glaciers, which are rocks coming down between uh, two sides of a mountain that are still moving, like really slow. And then rock gardens, where the whole side of the mountain is just strewn with big boulders. Uh, and we put some pictures up in before today, before this video. So you can kind of get an idea. And with my vision like it is, sometimes I just have to crawl over the rocks. But we persevered today. Uh, and we got here, we got to the shelter in good shape, like before three o'clock. But um, the next shelter is nine miles away. There's not a bunch of great camping between here and there. And so we just decided to hunger down for the night. The other reason we like this shelter is it has the prettiest view. And I'm gonna see if I, you really can't see it good from here, but in the morning, this shelter has the most amazing sunrise. So we'll sit here and drink our coffee and, and watch the sun come up and then hit the trail pretty early. Maybe yeah. not quite as early as this morning. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, we're, I think we're having uh, one of my favorite trail meals, ramen and tuna for dinner tonight. Yum. Uh, I think I was asleep at 7.30 last night. I'm going to try <laughs> to stay up a little later than that tonight. But we're pretty beat down, so going to get an early start in the morning. So eat a good dinner and get some good sleep, and we'll see you then. We're taking a break. We've come a little over three miles in, uh, what, two hours? A little less than, less two, than hours. two hours. Much better than uh, this time yesterday. We just want to give a shout-out to Carrie Michaels. She maintains, voluntarily maintains, the two-mile sec two section of trail from Holson Valley coming this way. And it was delightful, well maintained and well marked, and uh, high marks for her. We got just five more miles to go. Uh, we're kind of right at the junction of Horse Thief Springs Loop Trail and Horse Thief Springs Campus right up the road here. There's water there, but we're not sure if we're going to get it because it's real laden with iron, so it's red. And I don't know. What do you think? We might. Nah. We'll see. Anyway. Just much better day than yesterday. Legs are starting to work a little better and hurt a little less. And the weather's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll see you down the trail. Look at the pretty mixed forest we've been walking through all day long. Yeah, just beautiful. This trail's been so much better this section than the last section. Oh, look. It's oh, look. Yeah, so we uh, stopped for lunch just now. And uh, had our usual peanut, uh, peanut butter trail mix. Tortilla we'll call wraps. them tacos today. <laughs> tacos. Soft tacos, yeah, that's what we had. So we've only logged in five miles, but it's been a great five miles. And uh, we may go just three more miles to the shelter, which is way up on top of Winding Stair Mountain. Or we may go three miles on the other side to a campsite just to try to get ahead. We... Don't really need to knock a day off for this first section, but if we did, it wouldn't hurt anything. Just going to have to kind of play it by ear and see how our legs do. But we're having a great time, and you're glad you're, we're glad that you're coming along with us. Yes. See you soon. Okay, this is the first time I've been able to do this. <laughs> since we've been on the trail. Uh, the trail's been pretty rough, but we are on a section that is probably following what was an old logging road back in the day. So, it's still got rocks on it and stuff, but it's like walking on a carpeted freeway compared to some of the other stuff. And you can see kind of, there's oh look in the scout position. Um, and you can kind of see the, the roads it's kind of dropped off being a logging road now. We're back on the trail, but it is really wonderful. This is a beautiful stretch. It's actually kind of following a ridge between two of the mountaintops, which is the first time we've had a chance to do that on this trail, so we're thrilled.
Hey, oh look. Hey. Hey. Yeah, say, it looks a little different than the last shelter we stayed in. Yes, it does. Yeah, we decided to do something a little different, didn't we? We did. We hiked on past the shelter a few miles and knew that there was this great campsite here. And then that puts us just a little bit more down the road for a future really long day coming up. And we thought we could shave a few miles off that day. It sure helped. But isn't it gorgeous? Wonderful. Yeah, beautiful location. Got a fire ring here. We're right off the trail. Uh, got a good pitch on our tent. Yep. And we're going to put our bedding out and uh, try to get all that done before dark. We've got good headlamps, but we're going to try to get all that done before dark so we can conserve our batteries. Don't know that we'll have a campfire, but we're definitely going to rustle up some good vittles and get Absolutely. a good night's sleep. Catch you later. Good morning, happy campers. Hey, everybody. It's been a great night. Yeah, what a night. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, great pains and aches and... I mean, we got a lovely little setup here, but it just Perfect. just didn't sleep as good as we thought we might. But we're having great oatmeal, uh, not not oatmeal, we're having grits, grits. for breakfast. Instant grits <laughs> for breakfast this morning. Like about five different flavors all mixed into one pot. It's going to be good. Yeah, so I think we're going to hike, what, about 11 miles or 11 we're or 12? We're going to push it there. We'll see. We've got so a bunch of water crossings today. We've got to go across Big Cedar Creek and then up to... Pashubi, and then down into the Kayamichi, which we cross eight times. I'm not sure how many of those eight we'll get across today, because there's a bunch of good campsites down there that are really pretty. Um, but if we can push past those eight, that gets us all our water crossings in one day, which would be a really big deal for our feet not to be wet for two days in a row. Yeah, the Kayamichi River is not huge, but it does meander along through that valley. So we end up in four miles, we cross it eight times. It's not even going to be knee deep probably anywhere, but it's just the idea of getting our shoes wet eight times. Um, but then we will be done with that for a while. So we're going to hope to like get halfway between here and State Line Shelter. We'll uh, see. If we can do that, then we can hike tomorrow. We could hike past State Line Shelter, which is a huge climb, all the way to uh, Queen Wilhelmina State Park and Lodge. And we have food cache there. We don't know if we're going to stay there or they have a campground it's a state park or we could stay in the lodge if we get lazy and want a good hot shower i think they got hot showers hot there showers anyway at the campground for hikers <laughs> yeah well, that's right the, the, the restrooms have hot yeah. yeah so we might do that we'll just uh, have to see how today and tomorrow go but we'll catch you later on down the trail today so i'm standing in the middle of a rock glacier and like a regular ice glacier it is moving I'm going to pan around, so I'm in the middle of it. That was looking up. There's old look. She made it across. And this is looking down the glacier. You can see how far down it goes. The way you can tell, a lot of ways you can tell, a glacier tends to be more gathered, like a channel as opposed to a rock garden. But uh, it also has little to no moss or lichen growing on it because it is moving as opposed to the rock garden. All right. If I can get across to the other side, we're headed out. Hey, good morning, folks. And it is a good morning. As a matter of fact, I think we slept better last night. We are at the Kaimichi River at mile oh, heck, 39 or 40 something, between 39 and 40. We saw mile marker 39 before we got here. So we, we pushed it hard. We got here just about in the dark because um, we, we, we were out of water. We had like a three or four ounces of water between us so we were in a bind we had to climb two monster mountains hills yesterday so we were pretty tore up uh just aches and pains but we got here we got set up vicky J vicky did a oh look did a great job setting the tent up while i went and got some water and we drank a lot of water and had a great dinner after i spilled half of it on the ground and had to eat it off the ground with a spoon that's what you got to do <laughs> uh, but we again slept good had a good breakfast there's a look. Um, we got, we're going to try to make it all the way to Queen Wilhelmina State Park and Lodge today. We got a monster climb up. We're at, we're at 1,100 feet. Go and we got to go to 25 20, or 600 feet, <laughs> something like that. So we got a pretty good climb. But we got 11 miles to do it. We're going to cross this river. You really can't see it, but it's right over there. The Kaimichi River, we're going to cross it eight times altogether. It's not a bad cross, I don't think, especially this time of year. Have not a lot of rain, but, and then uh, 
that's when the climb starts. Four miles of river crossings and then three miles straight uphill and then another five miles to the lodge. So pretty aggressive uh, plans for the day, but I think we could do it. Catch you guys along the trail.